Hey guys, welcome back. So I found a challenge, well I found two. So this one, hopefully you can do this where you can have it fit two challenges. Um, so I found this one, which is called on Bugaboo Stamps and it's called Stella Says Sketch. So um, I wanna do this one. So we're gonna work on this one. Then there was another one that was a card bingo. Um, let me just see, close that out. Uh, new releases, oldies but goodies, the weekly challenge, I think it was. So this one was a bingo. So you had to do like three across. So I'm using a bugaboo image. I'll use bling and it's in pastels. And then um, bugaboo image texture in three layers. So I've got two different, a double bingo, basically. So hopefully um, you can do these for, enter these for both, I'm hoping, because um, that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, I was doing this, getting this one ready um, for the Stella Says Sketch, and then I saw this and I was like, oh, I can, it can fit both. So hopefully that's, that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and I wanna make sure it fits into the sketch. And it will, um, of course, have um, all the elements. And I'm new to the sketches, so I've seen that people really kind of twist them to where it doesn't look like the sketch. So I kind of don't understand that. Um, but I, I'm new, so I'm kind of following the rules. So, and I'm kind of being like exact about it. <laughs> so, okay. So here's our card and here's our image. And I can't remember the name. I think it's Cute Kitty. I know you're shocked I did a kitty image. I colored him in with my Spectrum Noirs and I'll have all the Spectrum Noirs that I used. Um, it's The lighting's horrible. He's like a light gray and a darker gray. So kind of reminded, I was gonna do black, but I figured black wouldn't show well because I had a cat that was white and black. So I kind of went with gray and dark gray. So where it's so hazy here, the colors are kind of eh, I think, but we'll see. So anyways, so that's my, my kitty and these are all my layers that we're going to use. And I thought the yellow was good for a pop of color where we had the yellow in the, um, in the little bird. And then we have some green for the leaves and then the purple and the pink. And the paper pad that I used was a Heidi Grace paper pad and it just says specialty on it. But it has to do with a lot of like flowers and springy stuff, so that was good. So let's get started. We'll start adhering stuff together. So first what we're going to do We'll adhere our two, our main image up here. Hopefully I have enough, hopefully I have enough adhesive around me. I should, Lord knows I have a lot of adhesive. Okay, so this, we're gonna go ahead and get put onto our scallop. And we have two scallops out of the bingo it was talking about. You had to have a scallop, we have two because we have one here and then we have a scallop border. So we can go ahead and get the bottom stuck on because the ribbon is gonna tie onto, I'm actually using seam binding, is gonna tie onto this one. So we'll leave that one alone for now and we'll go ahead and start getting these put down onto here. Okay, and I did something very strange for me. I'm actually checking my card here. That would be awkward, get the whole card made and it's wrong. Um, I left a bigger border around it um, than I usually do. You know me, I like like the 1 8 border around and I kind of left maybe, I don't know, maybe 3 8 of an inch, a quarter, 3 8 on some of these. It was a distinct border, which I usually don't like one. This one, not so much between the card and the base. I should have stuck. So I'm gonna stick a little adhesive. I didn't get on the sides and apparently I should have. So we will just get that put on there. And of course it wants to leak out. And of course it shows on the light colored paper. All right, so note to self, make sure when we are putting the card down, we need to put the card down. We do adhesive on all sides. Okay, so next is gonna be this sheet. As you can see, it was, I mean, it's a cute little, it's got like um, angels and fairies and flowers and bugs and all sorts of stuff. So, but I didn't use those sides. They were a little too crazy for me. 
I went with the subdued pastel look. <laughs> so I definitely wanted the purple because I just thought, oh goodness, I don't know what I did with my image. Hopefully it's hiding somewhere. Um, I definitely thought, you know, I wanted the, I knew I wanted the purple. This is what I'm talking about. I left bigger borders than I usually do. Um, I definitely wanted the purple where it was in the flowers. So, and then the pink was in his nose in different places. So now what we're gonna do, we'll attach this to this. And we're just gonna leave the scallops out. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll just get this ready to attach in general. And we're gonna put adhesive on all the sides just because. And then once we get this on, we will go ahead and re-put adhesive because we want to make sure that the part behind the scallop also has adhesive. Okay. And to me, that looks good. I think we need a little, little trim here. And I thought we had scissors. We do. They would have bit me. Okay. So there, that's good. So now, like I said, I'm going to go down just the scallop. I almost used that purple paper with the flowers, the top on the scallop. I thought it was cute, but I just didn't like the way that it looked once uh, once I had everything put picked out. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to leave the tiniest little gap of the pink there so that you can see both of the layers. So you got both of those and we want to line it up with the purple and make sure, see, we're all lined up there. All right, so the next part, this is where, oh, and there's my image, oh good. This is where we are going to put the seam binding around right here and make a bow, and our bow is gonna be over there. So let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to the camera so I don't knock it over. My scotch tape is always away from me when it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be here. Now I'm not gonna tape it a lot, a lot because I had, I was um, ironing the seam binding and I had an issue. I don't know why. Most of it came out fine, but this one little like section of it was a little janky, like kind of like this is. All right, get the tape to work with me here. Okay, and then we're gonna take and put another piece of tape. Probably don't need such a large piece of tape here. And we're just gonna make sure that's secured down over there. All right, so now we can come around. That looks crooked. So we will adjust this down just a little. Let's see if that looks better. All right, now going to say that I could probably fidget with this all day. So I'm going to try not to, and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get our bow tied. I'm just worried I may not have enough of the seam binding, so I may have to get another piece. Cause I, well, if we have short, short, um, which am I, who's it? Tails, there we go. I'm telling you, words are just not working with me lately. Okay, and that may not work because I don't see the, oh, I see the very end of the tail here. So we may have to actually get another piece. And it's not really over as far as I wanted. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and I'll be right back and I'll have another piece. Okay, so I've gotten the longer piece of seam binding. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our ribbon tied here with our seam binding. I love seam binding. This is what I find when I go thrifting. I've actually got to go through my box because I have quite the quite the collection that I've amassed. So that's pretty good. Whoa, that's really loose. Okay, let's try it one more time. And if it doesn't work, I'll stop the video and do it. I thought I had it tight enough on there, but apparently I did not. So let's go ahead and get 
that. Okay. I'll hold that while I do this loop. Hold that one while I do that loop. Okay. Just going to watch which way everybody's going here with the seam binding. And then get that down there. And tie. All right. And that one's too big. At least it's not as loose. Not as loosey-goosey here. And I lost a little tail. All right. So to get your bows to stay down where they're supposed to, just want to get them put where you want them, kind of, and have them hang down. And then we get our good bow scissors. Now I sew as well. And I just lost my stamp set I was going to use, so that's a little awkward. Okay, um, I sew as well. So I have a very nice pair of Ginger scissors um, that I use when I trim my seam binding and such. So um, if you don't wanna go to that expense, just have a pair of scissors that they're only for ribbon. Um, that way they stay nicer longer. Okay, so let's go ahead We've got the ribbon and we'll go ahead and get this adhered down. So I probably should have it tiered it had tiered adhered it before I tied the ribbon. So get the or tied the bow. Um, get the you know the seam binding taped down and everything, and then just go ahead and uh, stick it down before we tie the bow. But this will work as well. This will work just fine. Okay, and that looks good. I always like to look at it through the camera because it's like it's something that you don't see when you're looking at it off camera that you see when you're looking at it on camera. So nice to know. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and I think we're gonna pop him up a little bit because he goes off the off and to the side. So let's go ahead and I think what we're gonna do because we're at the end of these pop dots, is just take these and just put these on. There is no waste in this household. We use everything we got in our arsenal. And then if we need more, we can always, more or less, we can put a few here and a few there. So let's go ahead and we'll use this, this big piece here, which will give us some nice coverage since we have such a long a long oval piece here with the scallops. All right. And we will go ahead and uh, we will, all right, I'm gonna pause again. I thought I was well prepared. Get the stamps that I dropped and also get more pop dots. Be right back. Okay, so I think I left to go get some more pop dots, which I did do, and pick up the stamps, which I lost. I'll show you these stamps again. These are the more spinner, ideas to stamp and you can tell I used these two um, for my friend and thank you for being you I thought those went together well so really cool stamp set to have and you don't have to um, be a member you can buy them they're $12.95 but if you're in the club they're $10.95 and it's a dollar shipping so those are those the stamps that I used and I went ahead I did get a little ink but you're going to be proud of me I'm not going to redo it just because of that it's homemade sometimes Incidents happen. Um, luckily, it almost hit my image, so I'm glad it hit my image. So I laid down this panel here. As you can see, it's kind of close over to my uh, purple there. And I went ahead and I finished off the inside. I um, stamped the thank you for being you, did a little border down here, and I pulled in the scallop again. I didn't use my machine. I just used my Stampin' Up! scallop punch from forever ago. So I figured I would just use that. So I did that. So now we have to get the enamel dots on and get our image on. So our image is gonna kind of be at the end of uh, this mat right here. So we just wanna make sure that it sneaks in so our little bow sticks out and then we're gonna get our enamel dots put here. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's see if my tweezers wanna work with me today or not. So I picked out yellow, green, and purple. And I just thought those were nice, the yellow because of the chick. So just a nice little pop of color. And the green, I couldn't get perfect. 
Um, but I figured it was just a nice, again, a nice pop of color and it's a pretty green and it works with it. And then the purple. And these are the um, homemade enamel dots that I made with the perler beads. Um, these are the smaller enamel dots that you can make. And I will tell you, these enamel dots do not smell like the other ones. The other ones, when you were baking them, oh, holy goodness. You wanna make sure you have like a, a day where you can have the window open and it's not hot because that smell is just horrible. So, okay, so we've got those put on. And the last thing we gotta do is just get our kitty on here. I also stamped for my friend from that set. I'm sorry, I just, I don't know what is up with me today. I. I'm just out of it or something. My mind is not focused and it needs to be focused. So, but I guess it really doesn't have to be during crafty time. Crafty time's my time. Nobody can bug me, but they do. The cats usually. Ryan's pretty good if, you know, I'm doing my thing. And he's home, usually he's not home, but if he is here, he usually knows, you know, that's my downtime. Kinda let me do my own thing. He has his downtime and we all have our own way. In my family, we all seem to uh, like to have space sometimes. I know there are families that are together 24 seven and are really happy about that. And I love my family more than anything in the world, but I also like having time to just do my own thing and kind of be in my own space and function at my own time. Oh my goodness, if I don't leave skin on this card, it'll be a miracle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this put on. Like I said, we wanna not mess up our ribbon here, but we wanna kinda get it in there so that it's touching the edge here. So I think we're gonna go ahead and go there. Our cute little bow. Get the sides, oh, I guess I shouldn't have I shouldn't have, uh, what's that word, futzed with it, messed with it. Super cute, I am so happy. I think it's adorable for my friend. Just nice, pretty pastel colors. I don't know about you, but in Maine, we haven't seen these colors in a while. Nice, pretty pinks, purples, green for grass. So, here we go. Here is the, oh, all right. Okay, there we go. Here is, here's the sketch. And, oh, let me go back out. I went in so you could see my card. Now I gotta go back out so you can see the sketch. So there's the sketch and there's my card. There we go, that's better. So like I said, I'm new to the sketch thing. So I'm kinda, you know, pretty much hitting it right on the head or trying to be as close as I can possibly be to it. So yeah, so thank you so much for stopping by to check out what I was doing today and bearing with me. Uh, don't forget to check out my blog for a list of all my supplies used at www.crazycatladycraft.blogspot.com. And as always, happy crafting.